Universal Gravitation Part 2. So, the attraction between any two masses is inversely proportional to the distance squared. That means that if for some distance we have a force f, at the double distance the force becomes four times smaller. At the triple distance it becomes nine times smaller. So, at the triple distance it would be nine times smaller. So the two axes, the axis of distance and force, are actually asymptotes for this equation. Now we always measure the distance from the center of the masses. That means that if we are on a planet, the force due to gravity is measured between the center of the planet and the center of our mass. That means that actually the radius of the planet is the distance between the, the planet and us. As we move away, the distance becomes bigger because we have the radius plus any additional height h. That means that the force due to gravity um, becomes less and less. Apparently, um, at big distances, the force is so small that can be considered negligible. Um, the force can be considered as zero at an infinite distance. Okay, only when the distance becomes infinitely small can be considered as zero. But again, <clears throat> It's never zero.